Good evening, yes, friends. Welcome to daily editorial analysis of Shankar IAS Academy. Today's date is 26th September 2024. In this video, we are going to discuss two important editorial articles. The first article is about the China's restriction on critical mineral exports. So, this article is taken from Hindu newspaper and the second article is about India-US relationship. So, this article from Indian Express newspaper. Let us discuss these two editorial articles. Now, look at the first article. It is named as an uncertain love affair. This article discuss about India-US relationship and the article discuss the evolving India-US relationship for over past 25 years. The article highlights challenges in strategic partnership especially with the national security advisor Ajit Doval recently visited US amid diplomatic issues. So, the article emphasizes the importance of addressing mutual concerns beyond partisan politics. There is a need for broader management on global issues including relation with China and Russia. So, this India's relationship with China and Russia is a major concern for USA. So, these are the things are discussed in this article. In this news article discussion, we are going to analyze India-US relationship. Let us get into the discussion. First, let us start with the historical perspective. See, India-US relation has evolved over time and shaped by geopolitical shift, ideological differences, economic interest and strategic concerns. The relationship between both countries has gone through various phases since India's independence in 1941. The relationship was somewhat distant due to difference in ideology and global alignment during Cold War. India chose a path of non-alignment during Cold War and US was leading the Western Bloc. So, there is an ideological difference between both countries during the Cold War era. From 1947 to 1990, that is during the Cold War, India was closer to Soviet Union than towards USA. So, this created a gap between India and US. A significant point of tension was India's nuclear test in 1947 and 1998. So, this has led to US sanction on India. During this time, US has aligned with Pakistan and causing early tensions with India. So, the things to note here is that India's non-alignment policy during Cold War era and India's friendship with the Soviet Union. So, these are the things that concerned USA during Cold War era and USA has aligned with Pakistan. Particularly during 1970s, there was strained relations between India and US. India and Soviet Union signed Indo-Soviet Friendship Treaty in 1971. Also during Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971, US supported Pakistan by sending 7th Fleet to Bay of Bengal. So, this has also created tension during the Bangladesh War. But due to the support of Soviet Union, India's victory changed the regional dynamics. As I already said, India's nuclear test during 1974 has attracted UN condemnation and sanctions. So, these things strain the relationship between two countries. Now, at the end of Cold War in early 1990s, created a new geopolitical environment. So, with the dissolution of Soviet Union, India lost its principal strategic ally and began to reorient itself. So, the economic liberalization of India under Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao and Finance Minister Manmohan Singh in 1991 opened the door to greater economic cooperation with the US. Again in 1998, the relationship were briefly strained due to India's conduction of nuclear test in Pokhran. Again in 1998, the relationship were briefly strained when India conducted its second nuclear test that is Pokhran 2 in 1998. So, this has led to US sanctions. However, the US quickly realized that isolating India was counterproductive and diplomatic efforts began to improve the ties between two countries. So, this is the evolution of India-US relationship from 1947 to 1990s. Now, let us focus on the strategic partnership and economic interest. The India-US Civil Nuclear Deal Agreement was signed in 2008 between George Bush and Manmohan Singh. So, this marked a major breakthrough for India-US relationship. It allowed India to access civilian nuclear technology and fuel even though India not being a signatory to non-proliferation treaty. So, this nuclear deal is considered a landmark moment in modern India-US relationship and this indicated a strategic realignment. By the mid of 2000s, India and US developed a strong partnership that extended into areas like counter-terrorism, defense, trade and people-to-people -people exchanges. So, this is about the strategic partnership and the economic ties. Now, let us see the political and diplomatic relations. India and US collaborate on various regional and economic issues and also on global issues such as counter-terrorism, climate change and security concerns. So, they also cooperate in the security concerns in Indo-Pacific region. India and US engage through multiple platforms like 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue which involves a meeting of foreign and defense ministers. They also engage in Quad which is quadrilateral security dialogue which also includes Japan and Australia to address the mutual concerns in Indo-Pacific region. 
both countries being the world's largest democracies often emphasize their shared values of freedom democracy and rule of law so these shared ideas from form so these shared ideas form the basis for collaboration on governance human rights and global peace now talking about the defense and security cooperation india has become one of the largest importers of us defense equipment us has provided india with advanced weapon system like apache chinook helicopters p8i maritime surveillance aircraft and recently they have provided predator drones so this is about the defense trade between india and us if you look at the military exercise india and us conducted several joint military exercises such as exercise malabar and this exercise malabar involves the navies of two countries along with japan and australia the other joint exercise include uws and cop india this uws is about army and cop india is about air force there are also important defense agreements like logistic exchange memorandum of agreement which is shortly called as lee moa and comcasa which is communication compatibility security agreement and basic exchange cooperation agreement which is called beca so these three agreements are important defense agreement between india and us they have enhanced the military interoperability and information sharing both nations work closely on counter terrorism they share intelligence and coordinate efforts to combat terrorism us supports india's efforts to address the cross border terrorism originating from pakistan so this is regarding the defense and security cooperation now let us see about the economic and trade relations if you look at the bilateral trade between the two countries it has reached over 190 billion dollars in 2022 us is a major export destination for indian goods such as pharmaceuticals textiles it services and engineering products us is one of the largest foreign investor in india and companies like google amazon and walmart are making significant investment in india's technology on other hand indian companies are also having growing presence in us even though the strong economic ties are there despite the strong economic ties there have been trade disagreement over issues like tariff intellectual property rights and market access us has raised concern over india's data localization policies us also has concern over the price controls on medical devices so these are some of the concerns regarding trade relations and this is about economic and trade relation between the two countries now let us discuss about the space cooperation the two nations have long standing collaboration in space exploration the projects like nisar which is nasa isro synthetic aperture radar and this mission is aimed at mapping the earth and studying environmental changes both nation have also collaborated in commercial space sector india's growing commercial space industry which is led by isro and private sector players like antrix cooperation has attracted partnership from us companies so the collaboration is expanding in areas like satellite launch services and space exploration so the space cooperation between the two countries is growing every day now talking about the energy cooperation the us has become a key supplier of crude oil and natural gas to india this contributes to india's energy security and sustainable development goals india also sought us expertise in modernizing its energy infrastructure under us india clean energy partnership the two countries collaborate on renewable energy especially in the areas of solar power wind energy and electric vehicles india's ambitious renewable energy targets align with us technological and financial support regarding climate change both countries work closely on global climate change initiatives us has supported india's role in international solar alliance and both nations have committed to reducing carbon emissions through clean energy innovation so this is about the energy cooperation now let us discuss some points regarding the challenges in indo us relationship firstly about trade and economic disputes see both countries have involved in disputes over tariff us has criticized india for high tariff on products like agricultural goods technology and motorcycles for example recently the harley davidson bike from us has attracted high tariffs in india India has also raised concerns regarding the protectionist measure in US. For example, US removed India from its generalized system of preferences program in 2019. So this has affected India's exports. Regarding intellectual property rights, US has concerns about India's policies on intellectual property production, particularly in pharmaceutical sector. In pharmaceutical sector, India's production of generic drugs often conflicts with american patents so these are the issues regarding trade and ipr rights now the issues related to defense and strategic sector india's historical defense ties with russia pose a challenge to the relationship with the us 
India continues to purchase Russian military equipment such as S-400 missile defense system even though US is opposing it. Regarding the US withdrawal from Afghanistan in 2021 and subsequent takeover by Taliban, it has raised concerns in India about the regional security and terrorism. India felt sidelined in the US Taliban negotiation and is now facing the challenge of dealing with increased instability in its neighborhood. So, this is especially with the influence of Pakistan and China, whose influence is growing in the region. Regarding human rights and democracy concerns, the US has occasionally expressed concerns about India's domestic policies, particularly related to human rights and freedom of speech. Issues like revocation of Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir, handling of protest against CAA Act, and other internal policies have drawn attention in Washington. Also, the perception of democratic backsliding. Some US lawmakers and human rights groups have raised concern about what they perceive as democratic backsliding in India. There were worries about the treatment of minorities, freedom of press and rise of nationalism under the current Indian government. So, these are the perspective of US for India. See, both India and US are concerned about China's growing influence and their approach toward China can differ. For example, US is more concerned on China in the context of global competition and technological dominance, whereas India is primarily concerned with border security and regional dominance. In addition to this, India's strategic autonomy, which is reflected in its cautious approach toward alliances and sometimes leading to differing position on how to counterbalance China. So, both India and US have concerns about China and their perspectives differ in their approach. US has been pushing for more assertive Indian role in Indo-Pacific strategy. This is seen particularly through the Quad Alliance. The Quad Alliance is Quadrilateral Alliance, which has India, US and Japan and Australia. Now looking at the bureaucratic and political hurdles. Both India and US have large bureaucratic systems that can sometimes slow down the decision making and implementation of agreements. This is especially visible in areas like defense procurement, trade negotiation and technology transfer. There is also concern about the shifting political leadership. The frequent changes in political leadership and administration in both countries have led to a shift in priorities. For example, under President Donald Trump, India-US relation focused heavily on defense and trade imbalance. Under President Joe Biden, the relationship placed more emphasis on climate change, human rights and strategic cooperation. So, in conclusion, US is vital to India in numerous ways from providing economic opportunities to defense support. As India rises as a major global power, its partnership with the US serves as cornerstone for addressing the regional security concerns. So, with this, let us conclude the discussion. This is the main question regarding this topic. Discuss the significance of Indo-Pacific region to India and what is the role of Indo-US relation in protecting the Indian interest in Indo-Pacific. So, interested aspirants can write the answer and post it in the comment section. With this, let us move to the next news article discussion. Now, look at this article. It is about the China's decision to restrict the export of antimony. Here, antimony is a critical mineral which is used in defense and technology sector. So, this export restriction of antimony underscores China's dominance in global supply chain of critical minerals. So, this move is justified on national security grounds. China is taking various measures and this is part of a series of countermeasures taken by China in response to western export controls, especially against USA. So, this move of China regarding the export restriction of antimony has global implications. See, countries like India and USA and European Union remain vulnerable due to their reliance on Chinese mineral export. So, this is the crux of the news article given here. In this context, let us discuss about the critical minerals and their impacts. Firstly, what are critical minerals? See, critical minerals are natural resources that are essential for modern technologies, economic development and national security. So, these minerals have high economic importance, but they are vulnerable to supply chain disruptions. The examples of critical minerals include lithium, germanium, gallium, tellurium, graphite and antimony which is seen in the news. So, these are the critical minerals. All the rare earth minerals also come under critical minerals. They are called critical minerals because they are critical for functioning of national security and defense. Now, what are the applications of critical minerals? Let us discuss them. Firstly, the defense and military. The critical minerals are used in advanced weaponry, missiles, nuclear technologies, communication system. For example, antimony is used in missile technology and nuclear weapons. The next one is electronics and communication. 
These critical minerals are essential for manufacturing of semiconductors, smartphones, computers and other electronic devices. For example, gallium and germanium are used in semiconductor chips. They are also used in solar cells. Then about the green technology. See, critical minerals are used for green technologies like solar panels, wind turbines and electric vehicles. Example for this are lithium and cobalt which are used in electric vehicle batteries. Then about the aerospace. These critical minerals are used for making lightweight and heat resistant materials for aerospace engineering and satellites. See, the titanium is used in aircraft part making. Then about the health care. The critical minerals are used in medical technologies like MRI machines, medical devices and pharmaceuticals. For example, the rare earth elements are used in imaging technologies. So, these are the important applications of critical minerals. Now, let us discuss the China's dominance in critical mineral exports. See, China controls a key segments of mining, extraction, refining and processing of critical minerals. The countries like US, Japan, India and European Union rely on China for critical mineral supply. So, China is leveraging the mineral power for geopolitical influence. China controls the 60% of rare earth production and 80% of processing of critical minerals globally. So, China announced that the export restriction on antimony and other critical minerals. As we have seen in the newspaper, this move is a response to US export control on semiconductors and high-tech equipment. So, this move reflects an attempt to maintain China's dominance in strategic sectors like defense, electronics and green energy. Regarding antimony, China controls 50% of world's antimony production. The export restriction will lead to shortage and affects the industries which are reliant on antimony for manufacturing. So, the sectors like defense, electronics and renewable energy will experience delay and cost increases due to the limited access of this critical mineral. So, these are the important impacts of the export restriction of China over antimony. This export restriction of China will also have impact on strategic industries. Antimony is crucial for making weapon system, infrared sensors, missiles and nuclear technologies. So, this restriction could hamper the military production capabilities for countries like US and Japan. Now, talking about the India's vulnerability. See, India relies heavily on the imports for critical minerals, including antimony. The restriction will increase the cost for India's defense production. It will particularly affect the India missile systems and advanced military technologies. So, India's growing demand for minerals for EV batteries and renewable energy technologies will also face challenges. So, this will push India to find alternative supplies. So, this is the impact on India due to the export restriction of China. Now, what can be the strategies for securing the critical minerals? The first one is diversifying the supply sources. India have to partner with countries like Russia, Australia and other African nations to secure the alternative supplies of antimony. India can also collaborate with Quad members to strengthen the critical mineral supply chains. So, diversifying the supply chain is the first major initiative that India has to take in order to handle this situation. The second one is developing domestic resources. India has to accelerate the exploration and extraction of domestic mineral reserve. We have to provide incentives for domestic companies to invest in the critical mineral mining and processing of those minerals. So, this will leverage the India's hand at critical minerals. The third one is strengthening the recycling. We have to invest in recycling technologies to recover the antimony from electronic waste which are already produced. So, this will also promote the circular economy and will reduce the reliance on fresh mineral extraction. So, strengthening the recycling, developing the domestic resources and diversifying the supply sources are the major initiatives that India has to take to handle this situation. And this is the main question regarding this topic. Discuss the strategic importance of critical minerals like antimony and rare earth elements for India in the context of its defense security and technological growth. So, this question can be divided into two parts. First, we have to discuss the strategic importance of critical minerals and we have to explain its applications regarding defense security and technological growth. So, this can be answered from the points taken from today's discussion. So, with this, let us conclude the discussion. With this, we have come to the end of the discussion. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to Shankar IS Academy YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.